Now that we have joined in the round on double points, both right then left handed, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to switch to circular needles. So here I have cast on my 64 stitches on a circular needle and I'm going to show you how to join in the round for magic loop. We're going to slip our stitches onto the cord and I usually like to choose a quantity like this. So that I have maybe the first quarter and the last quarter and uh, the middle half, will you? It doesn't have to be perfect. Pinching my cord and bringing it through. All right, and then I'm gonna pinch, pinch my cord oh, about here. Truth be told, I am a perfectionist at heart. So if it really mattered, counting stitches and all of that, I would definitely let you know. I'm a firstborn. I'm not a rule breaker, I'm a rule follower, but in this case, I found that the rules are very arbitrary. Okay. So I have my beginning around stitch marker on standby. Excuse me. And I suppose I better do one extra stitch to really anchor that down. So one other cast on. I just used a long tail cast on. In my socks, I plan to use Tilly Buddy's Magic Cast On. Tilly Buddy's Magic Cast On? No, Tilly Buddy's Stretchy Cast On? You know what? I'll link it to you. Okay, so. We have the extra stitch. I am preparing to join in the round. See how I've made my triangle? Let's go ahead, oh, we better double check. Make sure all the stitches are nice and straight. Nothing's twisted before I join. All right, looks good. We have all the same side on the same side. The other side is the pearl bump side. I'm going to slip that first stitch that I uh, cast on onto my right hand needle. And this very last stitch that I just cast on, I'm slipping it over the stitch and off the needle in between the needles and cinching really nice and snug and placing my stitch marker for in the round knitting. You know what? I'm going to cinch that again. It just doesn't look very... It looks like this is going to be the ladder possibly. Okay. So, working carefully not to stretch that join out, maybe. 
I'm going to knit my first three stitches so I know that it's secure. If it helps you to cast on on one size larger needles than uh, the size that you're going to use for the knitting of the sock so that you can knit your first row, that's great. Okay, so I've, I've knit my first three stitches. I'm going to, okay, so I have my first needle and I have all this cord I'm going to pull the cord so that there's less cord over here and more over here. And then I'm going to push this needle through so that basically I have an empty needle now because it's all on the cord. And now I'm going to continue knitting. Oh, and don't knit with the tail. Uh, recently I have I've knit like three different things and I've knit the tail into the first round. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. So. Then you just knit with ease. All you have is the needle. You don't have to worry about those other stitches. They're nice and secure. When the pattern talks about needle one, needle two, whatever, again, it's back to this stitch marker. You wanna have 32 and 32. Uh, what I like to do as I get around more, I will distribute them uh, so that I actually have 32 and 32 and just keep this in the middle and then I know you know when it's going to start you know at the beginning of the round when you get far enough you're gonna start the heel and we will discuss that further later that is joining in the round magic loop for right-handed knitters <laughs>